13 months ago today was the day that the moving truck delivered our furniture from the Front Range of Colorado up here to our new home in Casper, Wyoming. I want to share with you today, friends, the power of baby steps. What focusing on just that one next thing over time can do in the course of a year. When we first moved in, we had some interesting floor structures on our main level. They went from carpet to tile, back to some more tile and more carpet. And we have transitioned those to our beautiful engineered hardwood floors. Obviously the paint color has also changed from various shades of purple to oyster white. We used Ecos paints. Everything is free from VOCs and harmful chemicals. We used it not only on our walls, but we also did 30% saturation on our ceilings. So we covered up from the white, white ceilings where you could really see the lines on the ceiling to a matte, to a matte, oyster white 30% saturation. We still obviously have lots of things we are working on. When you come into the kitchen, we do have a garden expanding and our plants are outside right now, but right here we are hoping to get an island. But again, we are working on baby steps here. We continued our flooring on into the kitchen here so that everything on this main level was the same floors. And we've been super happy with the with both the flooring and with the underlayment that we chose for that. Now, if you've been following along on Instagram, you may know that we have also had to replace our dishwasher. Um, that was because it was leaking on the floor. So we had a surprise change there in the kitchen. Also, the paint colors here are changed. And very, very soon we will have a new oven that will be gas as well as getting rid of this microwave, which I could not be more excited about. We literally have never used it. We don't use a microwave. That's a different video for another time, but it's going to be replaced with a stainless vent hood up there. Then continuing on into the dining room area, um, we had this table already, so that was used. We got our wool carpet rugs, wool carpet rugs, wool, <laughs> the, our wool rugs, and then um, I still need to readjust this one. Since we had our ceilings done, we just kind of put it back, but it's not done appropriately, so it's not centered right. The next big thing that I cannot wait to get done in here is our blinds. We're gonna get new blinds and some window treatments within here. We're planning to use a company that is Green Guard Gold certified. I'll let you know more about that as soon as we know. And one of my favorite updates is actually coming down here into our big fireplace room, family room area. Yes, there's still paint cans. There's still things, our green stock that has to get assembled, but having toned down the colors here, Again, doing that ceiling really helps so you can't see the seams as much as you used to be able to see up top there. Um, again, looking for some window treatments and coverings. Obviously we need more furniture, but we moved from a 900 square foot apartment, y'all. <laughs> like you could only have so much. And you'll notice there's nothing on the walls yet. That's because I'm trying to be super intentional about doing things in stages and in progression so that we don't end up with too much on the walls and then with our furniture and everything, have to take it down and cover more nail holes after all of the painting that we have done. This room was pretty um, neutral to begin with, but we just wanted to match it. Y'all, this is my favorite thing. <laughs> this flooring down here was this crazy laminate that really wasn't too bad with the, it was in pretty decent shape, but it made me dizzy. We really wanted to get it just continuous up here and especially the stairs because the way the laminate was installed made you really dizzy looking up the stairs. So now that we have the back, or now that we have the kickboards done and the sealants there, all is good. Please excuse the laundry in the background. Now let's head upstairs. May we please just take a moment for the transition color of our brand new wool carpet that was installed. I was not anticipating how beautiful it would work together with the wood. And I just love the color transition here. Again, we continued oyster white on the walls and I am still working this evening actually um, on touching up the paint 
right along the carpet line because apparently this carpet sits about a quarter of an inch lower than our previous carpet. Then the railing will be reinstalled for the first time in a year. I'm filming coming up the stairs and like, oh, hey, check out the vacuum. <laughs> but let me show you our bathroom over here that we, some people would think were insane for closing in this closet that was over here. But this backs up to our master bedroom and the master bath, which is really tiny, the tiniest shower. So we're going to actually extend that shower space. So we needed to close this off into where the closet used to be. The biggest renovation in here was the blue shiplap that we did. We left the flooring, would love to get it updated at some point, but um, updated and regrouted, at least we'll regrout it. But um, yeah, it is what it is. And then the tub, because friends, this was a cast iron bathtub, which we did not know, nor would I probably likely have been as eager to get rid of, except it sat so low down here. This is a deep soaking tub. It even extends out for elbow room. And then although I am not normally a fan of fake imitation things, here we did do the imitation subway tile because it is Casper. We have really hard water. It's just going to make it so much easier to keep clean. This room here, friends, was the bright blue cherry room, full of multiple various colors. It is now calmed down. It is our guest room, still needing some more touch-ups and updates and things, but new window treatments as well. We are much calmer, much more neutral, but still, check it out fun things to repair yet again from the install somewhere somewhere a hole that had been fixed is now there which tells me we've got to work on the hinges on this door okay coming into the master bedroom because it's just the natural flow from over here um we calm down the teal again that has been the biggest thing the floor and the teal so this closet um, you will see used to have a big hole right here because what they did was they took two closets and made them one, the previous owners. However, I don't know if it was the last owners or two owners ago, they never closed in this spot. So there was a nice hole in the floor until we got our new carpet. And friends, I will tell you, there's a huge difference in the insulation up here already with this new carpet. I am in love with it. This bathroom was also that super teal. I have a makeshift, see our shower, tiny, tiny here. And then I have a makeshift, whoa, lighting change, window fixture because these blinds were so disgusting from hairspray and the like, they just had to go in the trash. So we've got a makeshift covering for now, which is not ideal, but it is what it is. And we're continuing to make improvements. Let's continue on to the office, which was formerly the Denver Broncos room. And yes, they're still filing things all over the place because our flooring was literally last week <laughs> put in, finished a week ago today. So lots of things still going on here, but night and day difference. Again, that's a little planter that my niece meant, made me. We're going with the slow baby steps. Then you guys have already seen all of the pantry updates, all of our bulk pantry and everything. That has been huge. If you haven't seen that video, be sure to check that one out. I will link that here. You may notice we also have a bunch of um, supplies for our chicken brooder here. 
we are going to be first time chick parents starting Saturday. So we're getting all prepared for that. Let me walk you out to our garden so you can see kind of how we've expanded that in the last year as well. As we come outside, you will see we've already got, this is for our brooder for our chicks and it will be indoors. However, right now it's outdoors because it needs to be washed. We have some plants that are hardening off, getting ready. We've started a compost pile that is over on the side and I'm crazy excited to get that shifted in to our, um, shifted into our chicken run and chicken area so that they can get to work and start turning some compost for us even before they are able to start laying eggs. We expanded a bed. This area had no garden beds when we first moved in. This was grass and there was a trampoline over here. So there was actually a huge dead space and we went ahead. Last year we had these two. I have to fix the stones. That's supposed to be a walkway through the middle. We're working on it. <laughs> and um, then this one we added in the fall. We went ahead and started one here as well. And unfortunately though, it looks like we have a lot of space for sun in our backyard. We actually get a ton of shade from neighboring trees. So we do still have these two garden beds back here. And we've got those started with some garlic already going this year. So exterior painting and touch-ups is very soon on the list as well. So we'll be getting some of that taken care of. And then we have a full stocked wood shed. Okay, so then coming downstairs to the basement, friends, just brace yourselves. We've been having projects up on projects and I plan to finish the painting here in the next week, which I'm crazy excited about to finally be able to clear up this painting area. Because in the meantime, it's a little scary, but again, no longer purple. <laughs> and a little bit of a storage craziness. We do have hubby's work area is all nice painted. I've got to get the trim extended down over here in that semi-gloss oyster white and that'll finish that area off nice. We'll probably do some um, window treatments of sorts up there so that when it's really sunny that's not bothering him. And like I said, this whole area we're finishing up the painting section is all over here, which I did get the extra mindful gray. I got my second coat up over here. Really, the only thing that I need to finish is the trim here and then going in here with a round brush that I bought that can get into the um, crevices. This eventually we hope to turn into a wine cellar down here and I have visions of a reading nook in this area, but we're not there yet. While the unfinished side over here, we'll just kind of skim right past real fast. <laughs> and then last but not least, out front, we also have had a great big giant tree taken down. We had a lot of our trees trimmed out back and we're planning to have that tree turned into some furniture. Still in the works of getting the right people to get that done <laughs> and hopefully taken out because I don't love having the tree in our front yard, but it is what it is, the baby steps. So friend, why do I show you this? It's not to say, hey, check out all of the updates we've done in the last year, but it's to show you the power of baby steps, how it can feel so overwhelming. You have all of these different things, and if you will make your list and you do your brain dump, and then you break it down to your priorities, and what can you cash flow, and what are you doing in what order, what's most important, getting those things set, you can really have some huge transformations. You can really have some huge transformations in a short period of time. And so I hope that encourages you today, friend, on your own journey and your own updates. I can't wait to share even more with you here soon. Until next time, take care, friends. Cheers.